Drivers are supposed to stop in both lanes when the stop sign arm is extended on a school bus, but a recent pilot program showed that cameras installed on buses caught dozens of violators in just a week. Now this new technology could soon be a reality. New York One's education reporter Jillian Jurgensen has the story. There are automatic cameras outside many schools across the city to catch speeding drivers. And soon, school buses may be equipped with tiny cameras to catch even more traffic violators. If a vehicle went by while that stop arm is out uh, telling cars to stop, a camera would catch them, we'd issue a violation, and my hope is that kids could get on and off our buses without having to worry about getting killed. It is illegal to drive around a school bus that has its stop arm extended while picking up or dropping off children. The NYPD has written nearly 730 tickets for the offense so far this year. But the cameras would allow the city to find drivers when an officer is not there to catch violators. The ticket would be mailed to the vehicle's owner, who would be fined $250 for a first offense. If we have an opportunity to let a uh, computer do the work and do the enforcement for us, uh, we should be taking them up on that. This month, the state Senate and Assembly agreed to support legislation allowing the school bus cameras and the tickets they would generate. Once it is signed by Governor Cuomo, the city would have to pass enabling legislation, too. The legislation is being pushed by companies like Bus Patrol, which recorded some scary footage during a test of the tiny cameras this year in East Meadow, Long Island. Cameras on nine buses documented 70 violations in just one week. As a new parent, I'm horrified when I see a child now that's my child, that's everybody's child, and I want to make sure that those stop arms are enforced. Under the legislation, municipalities could buy and install the cameras or allow private companies to do it for them in return for a cut of the fine. Those arrangements have sometimes been problematic. Bus Patrol took over its technology from a company called Force Multiplier Solutions, which was dissolved after its president bribed officials in Dallas. Ultimately, I just want to see it get done. I don't care who does it. It just needs to happen. Kalos said he would introduce his city council bill as soon as the proposal in Albany becomes law. At City Hall, Jillian Jorgensen, New York One.